We're in the midst of a perfect storm for IT operations teams. The growing importance of technology as a driver of competitive value and digital transformation has unleashed a torrent of new technologies. The result is a level of technical complexity the likes of which we haven't seen since the beginning of the IT industry. But this means IT operations teams have no room for error. They must ensure that hundreds of applications and their underlying infrastructure perform all the time without fail. Chronically understaffed and constantly overwhelmed, IT operations teams are scrambling for answers and increasingly turning to the promise of artificial intelligence to find a path forward. But is AI the answer or just a pipe dream leading IT leaders down a dangerous path? I've come to New York to find out. Let's go. I'm here today with Mohan Kampela, Senior Director of Product with Big Panda. Mohan, it's good to be with you. Yeah, it's fantastic to be with you, Charlie. Very nice to meet you again. Mohan, let's start here. I mean, the current reality for IT operations, is it really that bad? Are machine learning and AI the only way out of this and through this perfect storm? That's a great way to put it, Charlie. It's indeed the perfect storm for any number of reasons. What's happening with IT ops is they are drowning in alert noise or IT noise to be more accurate that is just flooding in from all of their monitoring and other tools. And it's ironic, right? Because that's really, we put all these instrumentation in to, to solve these problems and now they're becoming the source of the problem. That's exactly right. So what's happened with IT ops is they went from not having enough visibility into having too much visibility to the point that they really can't make sense of the data anymore in real time and quickly and easily find the problems that need to be addressed. Now, it used to be that when I had that problem, I would just add more people. If I had more data, more alerts, I would just add more people. But we're reaching this point now, right, where you kind of can't buy your way out of this. The complexity is, is coming to, this, to a head, right? I mean, how, how are you guys seeing that? That's exactly what we see, Charlie. So you no longer are able to buy your way out of it. A, there's just not the, uh, the talent and the expertise out there that you can hire. Uh, B, you don't have the luxury of time to constantly onboard new resources. So you're basically getting to the point where you actually need some kind of an automated, autonomous, intelligent, you know, dare I say, artificial intelligence and machine learning that can actually help. But it used to be that the reason that didn't work in the past, well, well actually maybe that's a question. Why hasn't this worked up to this point? In the past, the challenge with AI and ML and making sure that you had easy access to that was the fact that the cost of compute was very high. You just didn't have the processing power. You didn't have the massive data sets that you need to be able to learn from. And from a very human standpoint, you had to have access to very expensive and, dare I say, non-existent, highly skilled data scientists. Today, that is not the case. So would you care to make the case that we're in a different time, that this is a, a new era for IT operations? It absolutely is a new era in IT operations. Finally, AI and machine learning have been democratized to the point where every large enterprise, every fast growth business, and every digital native has access to the AI and the ML capabilities that they need. Okay, so you made the case that we're finally at this point now where we're ready for machine learning, AI, at least from a compute storage and kind of the technical stuff. But I want to ask the question that, that when I was running IT, if I was still running IT today, that I'd be asking, at least asking myself, and that is, is it really going to help or is it just all hype? I mean, there's so much out there. Uh, it's, it's funny you should ask it, Charlie, because, you know, I think that's also a top of mind question for many of our prospects and customers. Uh, there's a pretty widespread tendency to get carried away with the buzzwords. Everything is machine learning and AI now, right? Exactly, what is not machine learning, you know, what is not AI, right? I mean, there's you know, human-powered AI, machine learning-powered AI, all kinds of things. But if you're in IT, and if you're in IT ops, I actually don't think that it's all just hype now. You know, finally, AI and ML are practical, actually can make a tangible difference. And in fact, if you use them correctly, they can be transformational. But we've, again, we've been down this road a little bit before, and people that have maybe were the early adopters around some of these AI or machine learning technologies, they kind of had a price to pay, right? I mean, what did they run into? 
Unfortunately, they had a price to pay in terms of the time to value. It just took too long to see the results. Uh, they paid a price in terms of the quality of the results because they just were not sure if the results being produced by these tools were accurate, were high quality and actionable. And as a result of these two factors, uh, there's definitely uh, issues around adoption, use and expansion that many of them have seen. And there's also the risk factor. And so far as you go down this road, you invest all these resources to put this in and only have it not pan out. I mean, have you seen the same thing? Yeah, many of our prospects actually, when we first start talking to them, that's exactly what they tell us. They tell us that you know they put uh, they invested heavily in a tool like that only to see that the results never panned out, and they've understandably become very gun shy and skeptical about these tools. Because you know, I mean, if you if you think about the enterprise world, you know what happens is you make a bet on a tool or a brand new tool or a product or a new technology, and then that means that your teams, your processes, your workflows the expectations from the C-suite all have to be aligned a certain way, and then a year, two years from then, you don't see the results, that does not reflect well. So you're basically telling me that all my skepticism is very well warranted, so why is it different now? Why are, what, what is it is, that has changed between those early iterations and what we're seeing today that actually makes this now tenable? The problem thus far, and the problem with actually many common implementations of ML and AI in IT ops, is the fact that AI has a massive black box problem. So what that means is that these tools are completely opaque, and there's no way for IT ops teams to understand how they work, how they correlate, and also, therefore, they don't know how well they can trust the results produced by these tools. So what's the answer then? The answer is you know, what we call open box machine learning. So open box machine learning is Big Panda's very unique and pragmatic take on machine learning. Uh, for IT operations teams, what that means is unparalleled uh, transparency, testability, and control. So let's break them down. What do you mean by transparency? So transparency means that IT ops teams can clearly see in plain English the correlation logic that's created by machine learning. It also means that they can clearly see the four, five, six different dimensions across which the machine learning algorithms correlate their IT incident. What do you mean by testability then? What does that bring to this? What testability means is that unlike with conventional approaches where you actually unleashed or basically set loose your correlation logic onto production data and waited for months, you can now iterate rapidly at any given time, see what the result of something would be before you go into production. All right, so I think I can probably guess what this next one is, but just for the sake of clarity, what do you mean by control then? Control is the aspect of open box machine learning, which allows IT ops teams to be able to customize, edit, and incorporate their tribal and business knowledge into the correlation logic produced by machine learning. So if I'm getting your logic, then this idea of bringing together transparency, testability, and control, that's what creates trust for an IT operations team. But I guess the question is, well, so what? What do I, what as an organization, what am I getting from that? If the fact that I can trust it, now what? So with that trust, businesses can see rapid time to value. They can also be assured of the quality of the results being created by the open box machine learning. And most importantly, this means that they can start to uh, actively adopt and use Big Panda's open box machine learning. So if I can just paraphrase that, the trust equals adoption and the more adoption we get, the better quality we get and the faster time to value that organizations can see as a result of that. Is that fair? Yes, that's very accurate. So that leads then to a question and that is in that kind of world then where we're starting to pull in AI and machine learning and different these different technologies, what does that mean to the role of, of the IT operations person, right? What, what does this lead to? Uh, to be candid, uh, at Big Panda, uh, we, we take a very pragmatic uh, approach. We don't think that human IT ops teams are going away in the near future. Therefore, uh, Big Panda's open box machine learning was expressly designed to augment the capabilities of IT ops teams and help them more cost effectively and scalably 
handle this massive tsunami of IT noise that they're currently inundated with. So it's obviously an idea we've been hearing about, this idea of augmented intelligence or using AI-type technologies to augment personnel and staff. So can you give us an example of exactly how you would see that play out in the case of IT operations? An example would be how, let's say you knew that in the data center, that there were certain incidents that were pretty strongly correlated together or followed in a certain sequence. Then, when Big Panda creates this machine learning based correlation logic, you're also able to incorporate your own knowledge of the data center's problem sequencing into the logic. So what that means is you're not just waiting for the machine learning to automatically discover that correlation so the augmentation almost works both ways. One, it helps me speed the learning process to increase the effectiveness of the tool, but also once that tool is in place, it actually speeds the ability of the workers that are then using what comes out of it on the other end. I mean, is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying, Charlie. We think that both machine learning and AI and the human IT ops teams need to be able to work together very closely. And as we've already discussed, uh, Big Panda's open box machine learning is you know, expressly designed to facilitate this two-way collaboration. If I could kind of, if I digest this, what I'm really hearing you say is this idea of transparency, testability, and control kind of becomes a nucleus, that everything radiates out of it, that without that, that, that's kind of the core of why these other approaches or the traditional approaches haven't worked. That's exactly what our customers see with Big Panda. When they come to Big Panda and experience open box machine learning, for the first time ever, they actually see how transparency, testability, and control drive real business value. It means that they can reduce their operational costs. It means that they can increase the performance and the availability of their critical business services and applications. And most importantly, in this day and age, it also means that they can de-risk their brand new digital transformation initiatives. Mohan, this has been both fascinating and enlightening, and I know I learned a lot. So thank you so much for being with me today. Absolutely, Charlie. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. As Mohan shared, the traditional ways of managing IT are now unsustainable. The good news is that the reality has finally caught up to the hype. New approaches like Big Panda's open box machine learning can give IT ops teams the confidence to use and trust the power of this transformational technology. I hope you've learned as much as I have from this conversation. I'm Charles Araujo. Thanks for watching.